Hey there, Ramon Osa with you here, OsaTennis360.com. And if you find yourself in long, compliant rallies against the grinders, against the pushers, and you just want to shorten the points up so you don't hurt your body and so you get out of there fast, you're going to love this video because I'm going to share with you my favorite two-shot combination when it comes to disrupting the baseline rally. And I'll show you how to do it step by step. Let's get started. All right, so what most players try to do when you go up against the pusher is go for bigger and bigger shots, closer and closer to the line, more and more spin, and eventually end up pushing the ball out, and now the pusher has got you right where you want you. So what we're gonna do instead is make this player very uncomfortable with a two-shot combination. In One Point Away, our 30-day online training program, we train almost exclusively in two-shot combinations. You can check out that program down below if you'd like. So in this case, our first shot is gonna be a short angle cross-court ball, followed by a thumper, a setup, and a hurt shot. And when you execute this properly, your opponent has to get on his horse for both balls and hit shots that they've probably never practiced which is great news for you. So as you'll see, I got two targets set up here, one set of cones in this short angle position and another deep in the opposite corner. So we're literally gonna make your opponent run as far as humanly possible, which is something he's not gonna like and something that's great for you. All right, so let's talk about when to use this pattern because we don't want you using it willy nilly. You wanna use this when your opponent sends you a short and or wide-ish ball and it pulls you out wide to the forehand side. What that's gonna allow you to do is get that ball up and over, create a really nice angle to pull your opponent off the court. Then the court opens up and you can nail the ball down the line. All right, the best way to train this initially is with the trusty eye coach because you can get 80% quality hits and you can practice this from home. All backed by science and if you need one, go to theicoach.com, use promo code RUSA and you'll save some money. So here we go, on this particular shot, we're gonna be using a lot of spin. We're not trying to crush this ball, we're trying to really get this ball up and over the net. So as we go through the reps, we're gonna have a lot of low to high, a lot of brush on the ball, and you'll be able to feel the ball on the eye coach and see if it's spinning, which is great. If you don't have an eye coach, you can go straight to a drop feed here, and again, brush the ball, get a lot of spin, a good amount of net clearance, and see if you can hit your target. You wanna aim for about 70% in the target. And while you're working on this, you wanna see if you can get the second bounce to be further and further away from the baseline because that's how far your opponent is gonna to have to run to get the ball. All right, so here we go. And what you wanna do initially is start by hitting your target. Really get a good feel for the ball. These are all falling into my target. And then as you get good at that, you can start shrinking the target and see if you can continue your good accuracy. And then you can start picking up the pace with a little more spin. And then finally, you can add a little bit of movement to the ball and work in some footwork. So All right, so for our second shot, we're gonna do the thumper down the line, which we actually trained in last week's video in the first tactic of disrupting the baseline. And if you want that video, I'll link to it down below. Great little trick for the uh, pushers here. By the way, you know who I think is really good at this? and probably the best of all time is Roger Federer. Put it down in the comments. I'm curious to see who you think the GOAT is. All right, so we have trained the first shot, which is the short angle ball. Now we're gonna train the second shot, which is the thumper down the line. Again, using the trusty eye coach in the beginning. For this particular shot, we don't necessarily want as much topspin. We wanna to drive the ball through the court because we wanna take away as much time as humanly possible from our opponent. So here we go. We nail it. Okay, so again, really driving through this ball, staying nice and balanced through the shot, loose, and just rip it with freedom. So here, presuming we execute our short angle ball well, chances are we're gonna get a sort of middle of the court, shortish type of ball, because your opponent probably hasn't practiced it much. So we line up the eye coach there and practice driving that ball now with a bit of spin, but generally flatter. Get that ball through the court quickly and just whack it. All right, now that we've trained each shot individually, next thing we gotta do is train them as a one-two shot combination, and I'll show you how I love to do it. Is with the eye coach positioned, aimed towards our second shot. And what I love to do is hit the first ball on a drop feed, then get my body around the ball into position to nail the second ball, in this case, the eye coach, and just nail it. Once you've done it with the eye coach, go ahead and go to a drop feed on the first ball, again, Make sure you're hitting this first shot from the shortish, widish area. 
hit into your target, then get back into your recovery back towards the middle of the court, drop it and nail it again. All right, once you can do that, you can have a friend go out and toss your balls or you can pull out the ball machine and then take it from there. And if you're really interested in winning more matches, which you would be if you're watching this video, then download the free PDF, The Five Biggest Mistakes Competitive Amateur Tennis Players Make When Trying to Close Out Matches. It's really gonna help you. And in the meantime, thanks so much for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you. Let me know in the comments what you thought, who you think the GOAT is, and also what other videos I can make for you that would really help you out. Click the like button if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss next week's lesson, and I'll see you then. Bye.